exciting recipe. So dal macni, you've got all the ingredients here. Let's talk about what dals and pulses we're going to use. So wash your dried pulses and dal uh, beforehand because you want the water that they've been soaked in to add to the rich colour and taste of the dal. A cup of kidney beans, two cups of black gram, which is urid dal that hasn't been skinned, soaked overnight. Four red ripe tomatoes blended into a smooth paste. I'm using Mumbai Piaz, use any onions you want, using about four medium sized onions cut up nice and fine. We're going to be using some cream to add to the sauce and also the important garnish to make it look really super. We've got some kasuri meti here. I'd say it was a small handful I roast it in a pan and I get rid of all the twigs. Look at the nice uniform consistency of that. I've got a teaspoon and a half of salt. I'll be checking the salt and adding it right at the end. If the salt's not right to flavour our oil. We've got four cardamom, or is it five? We've got an inch stick of cassia. We've got four cloves, two black cardamom. We've got two green chilies chopped. We have a pinch of nutmeg, freshly pasta and mortared, so it's really tasty. We've got a teaspoon of chilli powder, Kashmiri chilli powder, and half a teaspoon of turmeric. We've got two tajpata, cinnamon leaves, Indian bay leaves, whatever you want to call them. And we've got two tablespoons of ginger and garlic paste. Ginger about 30%, garlic around 60. I'm going to use a pressure cooker. And I think about three clicks of the pressure cooker ensures that your dal your pulses are cooked. I've used plenty of water to cover it, about an inch over, so I think there's maybe a litre of water there in total with what was already um, used to soak. I've added the salt. I'm also adding the turmeric and the chilli powder and I'm going to boil those until the lentils are really really soft. If you great flavour with this dal is the addition of butter and cream. So rather than using butter, I'm using desi ghee. Be around four tablespoons there. Let that melt. So desi ghee is always best. Spend a couple of pounds more and just get the ultimate one. It's usually the most expensive. Now we just want to saute slightly the um, whole spices. We'll add the, add the taj pepper shortly. Just want to get as much flavour out of those spices. So low heat. Next, the tajpata. Now the ginger and garlic paste. So 45 seconds later or so, let's add the onion. Put everything on a low heat. So we're just going to sauté those onions over the next five to eight minutes, depending. That's been about ten minutes. Apologies, I'm adding a heat teaspoon of freshly ground coriander. I missed out of the ingredients. Nice perfume, fragrant paste going into the onions. And just cook the raw taste and get it all well mixed again. Next we can add the green chilies just to soften them. A couple of minutes we'll come back. Now we can add the blended tomatoes, give it a good stir, put a lid on, simmer for about 10 minutes gentle heat. Like so. So that's been slowly reducing, let's add the kasuri meti, dried fenugreek leaf and the nutmeg. Give it a good stir. And I reduce those tomatoes for about 10 minutes with a lid on, as I mentioned. I just want to give it a good sizzle, make sure the oil's um, split and the moisture is reduced. And we're going to add that to the kidney beans and the black gram. And it's nicely sizzled. That's just the way we want it, up with the heat. So now all that flavoursome goodness can be poured into the lentils. They're almost soft but I'm going to continue to use the pressure cooker after giving it a good stir of course so everything cooks 
Nice. And the only ingredient we've got left is the cream and we need to check for salt. So let's give that a little bit of a stir. It's looking nice and dark. It'll look a little bit better once um, at the end of the video when I serve. Uh, lids going back on, another 15 minutes possibly. All our effort, it needs a little bit of salt, another half a teaspoon in there, a good stir, and it helps to give it a good stir as well. It helps thicken the sauce. You can add water accordingly. It's better to do it in the cooking process though, so that water's just not uh, water, but it's flavorful. And now we're going to add a little bit of cream. I don't want to use too much because we're going to garnish it with some cream also. And the flavour and the smell in the kitchen is absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to put this into a single serving bowl. There's about probably 10 portions there as a side or probably about six as a main and a swirl of cream and that's it. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to like, share and subscribe.